Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. I am Dr. Swarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Center. Let's try to understand the different stages of an egg's development, how it fertilizes and at what stage does it come into the uterus to become a baby. Let's try to see how the anatomy is. On either side of the uterus are two tubes which are connected to two ovaries. I'm trying to show you one half of the entire anatomy. So this is your endometrium, this is the ovary and this is the tube which is opening on towards the ovary. Inside the ovary, there are a number of eggs which are growing but every month only one gets big and is released from the ovary. Once it is released, the released part also releases progesterone which is very useful for the growth of the endometrium and blood supply into the endometrium. Once the egg is released, it is picked up by this opening of the fallopian tube and waits in the tube for the sperms to arrive. If the sperms are there already, the sperm enters the egg and fertilizes the egg. This is called as a zygote stage. That's when the DNA from the father and the mother um, exchange and forms a unique individual. The very next day it travels along the tube as it is maturing into the next stages. On day two, it is either a two cell or a four cell stage embryo. On day three, it is an eight cell to 16 cell embryo. And day four, it's called a morula. And you can see on each day, the stages vary and the position and the location is also varying. It is changing slowly uh, in its stages and the location as well. On day five, it has become something called as a blastocyst which is the right stage for implantation. It then invaginates into the endometrium and starts growing into a baby. Now you can very distinctly see in all these stages it is just a mass of cells. It is just cells which are dividing to form more cells and maturing to form something called as blastocyst at which stage it is then entering into the endometrium and forming a baby. All these are very critical and ovulation is the first a sign for you that your egg is released and maybe an intercourse at this stage can help you in getting pregnant. If you are to understand this, you can then take proper precautions after ovulation uh, so that you increase your chance of success after ovulation and you've had intercourse. You then understand at what stage after ovulation, about 5-6 days later is when the embryo implants into the endometrium. If you want to understand more and want to increase your chance of success, Please feel free to contact us. Thank you. We strive very hard to make these informative videos for you. Please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos. Thank you.